hello guys welcome today to my channel thank you for stopping by so we're we'll doing the style you're seeing on the screen right now so what we're going to do particularly on this style is that um, i folded my fabric into four into like into four because i'm cutting back and front together um this particular one i'm not going to be slashing the shoulder it's going to be folded all through or like the other ones i do on my other videos these shoulders are always slashed but this one will be opened all through so let's start with the you know it's a shirt um, form is a collar dress so we're going to be using a shirt measurement shirt measurement is usually three by three which is um the standard however because this is a um freehand i'll be doing 2.5 by 2.5 so 2.5 width neck width and 2.5 neck depth Okay guys, so I'll be doing um, the back also. The back neck depth is going to be 1.5. The back neck depth is going to be 1.5. So I'm going to be marking 1 because it's a, um, as a free hand. It's not a pattern dress. So I'm marking 1. So by the time I sew, I'll be sewing with half of an inch. And we'll be having 1.5. Okay, guys, so my shoulder actually is 7.5. So um, we'll be checking the half of my dad's 7, point, which is half of the shoulder. And the sleeve length from the shoulder I'm working with is actually 14. However, this fabric contains um, the whole of the length that I needed. So um, 15. So it's going to be also my half, my seam allowance. So I'll be stopping at that. Now, I, like I said, I'm not slashing it open. So from there, I'm taking my um, armhole um, opening and this time around, I want to work with 11 because I want the armhole to be open more. Now I'm going to be checking my shoulder, my body measurements, bust point 11, on the bust 14, half length, I'm using 16.5. For my half length then the length of this um dress um is about for my half length actually i'll be checking my hips i'm using 8.5 for my hips length um so the length of the fabric is about 60 so i'm marking it all I'm trying to draw a line because this particular work um please pardon me that i won't be making my my markings very thick because um this particular sketch and shape and marking of is going to is actually at the front for this style so that is why i'm not marking too hard so it's easy to erase by the time i'm done so I've, that's just i'm just taking my bust measurement so here is my on the bust so i divide by four and that's what i have then for my waist, I also divide by four. And everything I do, I added a um, half inch ease allowance. I'm adding half inch ease allowance. Then for my hips also, I divide by four and I added half inch ease allowance. Now, I've decided to add extra one inch because it depends on what you want for the uh, how free you want this dress to be because this dress is not going to be having any slits so you have to be careful how tight you're making it and this is also an ankara fabric it is a, it is not um a, a, a lycra fabric that will stretch out so for this purpose i decided to add one inch at every of my measurements now i'll be marking everything out please once again pardon me my marking is not going to be too um thick because I'm trying to uh, maintain the, um, I don't want the fabric to be stained at the end of the work. So that's why I'm not marking to take, but please just kindly follow as I do. I'll try to explain very well. So, okay, I'm connecting all my lines like this. So you can see connecting all the lines all the way. That 
that part i really actually just shaped it so that it will not be it won't be sharp now that i just did there so that is my um armhole length so i've grown it out i'm going it out and at the end of that place i'm still going to make it um curvy don't leave it to be sharp make it curvy now i want to come back to the end of the fabric i'm trying to roll to the end of the fabric for my um, hips i'm taking it straight down to the end of the fabric that's the length of the fabric the length of this fabric is actually 64 um this is a tall dress so it's actually 64 now when i come to the end of the fabric i'm adding what i have in my on my hips then i'm adding additional of three inches like i said there is no opening there is no opening so I, I'm, I just went up by two inches so i'll know where my um measurement ends the remaining two inches is my fold allowance now i'll be connecting all the way down like what i did actually was at the end of the fabric after i placed the hip measurement i added extra three inches because it is not a stretchy fabric so to give you room to be able to um, walk around with the dress so i'm connecting everything all the way to the end from the hips i'm connecting all the way to the end so um at the end it's almost like an a line that is how it's going to come out okay guys so this is it um this is exactly what is remember that this we're going to be cutting it actually remember that this marking is done at the front because you actually need it at the front of the fabric now i'm cutting the back i'm cutting the back first because the um remaining work is will be done at the front so i'm taking away the back first so now i'm notching my front so that i will know where the mark of my front starts from so that i will not miss it another thing is to notch every corners of the dress um, every corners of the um, show the neck points every corners of the neck point so that you will know by the time you I op you're opening it you will not be looking for your um you will be looking for the measurements where the measurements start so you see i notched the whole corners there notched it properly before opening it so this will serve as my guide now i've opened up the dress i'm going to be picking one side as my front so now i folded it back remember that that place that i notched that has now guided me to know where to how to fold properly now i'm cutting away the front remember that i'm cutting only one side because one side is going to remain the back and one side is going to be the front so i've cut out the front now i've opened it back again because i have to work on the front what we are doing now i want to place the keyhole now i decide to add to make my keyhole depend on how deep you want your keyhole to be for my neck point i decided to go up to like five inches I decided to go up to like five inches for my neck point. So it depends on how sorry four inches. It depends on how deep you want your your depends on how deep you want your neck points to be. If you want it deeper and your keyhole, sorry, you can do it deeper. Now I'm going to be marking the middle of my keyhole, and from the middle, I'm going to be taking in quarter of an inch because I don't want my my keyhole to be too wide like what you are seeing on the screw on the design so I don't want so it depends on how wide you want it to be remember that after sewing it will be sewing by half of an inch so by the time I have quarter quarter that is half a half inch plus the one inch after so that will be 1.5 so you have to calculate these things to know how wide your keyhole will be so that you won't make mistakes now I'm connecting it to my half inch sewing allowance <clears throat> i'm connecting it with my half inch sewing allowance you can see it's looking like um like a <laughs> like a contour that actually that's what it's looking like so now that is what i have so now i'm going to be cutting it out
Now, make sure I follow my line. I'm not going to make any mistake. If you make any mistake there, you might end up not having a good keyhole. So, I'll follow my line as I've traced it out. So that is it. Then I'll be slashing it open. I'll be slashing this open. Okay. So this is what I have. Now the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the facing. So I'm explaining to you how to cut the facing. Now this facing now, half of your my shoulder, whatever is left of my shoulder. It's half of it that I'm going to be taking. So the half of it now is um, giving me like 2.5 or 3 thereabouts. So what I, now for the back, I want to go as much as 4 inches or 5 inches at the back. 4 inches, between 4 inches to 5 inches at the back, that's what I want to do. Then at the front, I think I want to go up to like 6 inches after the neck point. Now I'm going to be connecting all the whole points that I've made. On the cuff shape you can use any shape that you want when you're doing your um, you're doing your facing you can use any shape you want. You can use a square shape whatever shape but I'm using a curve shape so guys we'll be connecting um, all the points from the back to this um, shoulder line up to the front so that's what I'm doing then I'm connecting the points or rather i'm marking out the point first on the fabric i want to use for the facing so now i'm connecting all the points i place the fabric on on the uh, fabric on the dress then i'm making sure that i'm marking out all the points i'm also going to note the middle where the keyhole will be also note the middle where the keyhole will be like you can do a square shape if you like but i'm doing a curve shape So I'm connecting it up to the back. Okay, so the neck area, I also will um, trace out the circumference of the neck area there. Make sure you're tra tracing it out properly. Because if you don't trace it properly, you can have a, you will end up having issues. So I'm going to also note the middle where the key point and key hold is. That's what I just marked right now. So what I'll do now is I'm going to be cutting it out. Okay, guys, this is it. I've cut out um the facing please guys at this point i'm you really enjoyed my video please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and drop your likes don't forget to support this page so what i'm doing now is i'm going to be um cutting out the circumference And if you are new to the ch and channel, please don't forget to subscribe before leaving. And always stop by anytime um, there's a new video. Thank you. So I'm cutting it out. Okay, guys. That is it. Now, I'm placing it carefully. Now, I've, I've gummed it. I've used the, an interface to gum it. Um, so I to give you that... Um, that um, stability then now i'm going to be placing it making sure you are placing it the right way making sure that you placed it um, where the center will be just make sure you place it the right way or else you have issues at the end of the day it's right for the keyhole 
so guys i'm going to be pinning it round like this now okay now i'll be turning it over to um the front because the part we just worked on sorry i mean the back so what i will do now is is to um sew it round Now what I did actually is that I'm now after sewing it, I'm now um, cutting out the the keyhole area. You know I sew this round. The when you sew when you get to the keyhole, you also sew your V shape round down. So I've, I all I did was to cut it out. So this is it right now. I did not sew my um, neck area because there's going to be a collar there. So I left it open and I did the notch. So by the time I finish sewing it, it will be it will relax. That was why I know so and I've also ironed it properly. You can see now I'm going to be using the, the hemming gum to gum the facing. Now this is the collar. Please, if you've not um, I could I can't put the video of the collar here because the video will become too lengthy, but I'll be dropping the link. So you just click on it on the screen, it will take you straight to where this collar is so that you can see how this collar is made. Regardless, um, one part of the collar is not that pointy. I did a correction if you watch the video. So, okay, guys, this is it. I'll be placing the collar on the shirt. Please don't forget to click on the link that will take you straight to this collar so that you can see how this beautiful collar is made. So, I'll be placing it right now. Be care carefully placing it. All I need to do is, first of all, I'll pin it round. After pinning it, then I'll sew it carefully. Now, this is the outcome. I've sewed it. I've sewed the corner color on it. So, this is what I have. This is what I have. You have to take your time while sewing this color. Don't be in a rush. Just take your time. <clears throat> if the color is not, the outcome is not good, you will not like it. Now, another thing that I've done is I've shaped the dress on the front. You can see the line. Sorry, you can't see the line too clear because it's a black thread. The shaping is done on the front of the dress. That was why I said when the marking, I told you I have to mark at the front because the shaping will have to be done on the front. So you shape the both sides of the dress. So this is what we have actually. Now, this the flap that you're seeing right now. If you are, I want to take out like one inch away from it because it is actually fat. This person is not on the fat side, so the flap that came out was um quite too much. So I want to reach by one inch. But if you are dealing with a fat person, you can actually just leave it because I don't want too much flap at the end. Now, from the flap that I cut out, what I cut out from the flap, I made this long rope. Now I'll be attaching the rope inside the collar, the space there where there's a the, the collar cuff is. I'm inserting the rope inside it and sewing it very neatly. Nobody will notice that it was actually opened. So this is it, guys. This is what it's going to look like. It's looking so beautiful. Guys, you should give this a try. I'm telling you, it's a very beautiful dress. Okay, guys. There's, um, by the side, um, this fabric I've cut out is for the side. Now, I'm using like about um, five, four inches, I think. Four inches, yes. Four inches is what I and I cut out as long as as long as the boo uh, the boo boo is that is how long I have so you can see for the both sides now I've gummed it I've used an interface to gum it to give it stability I'll be placing the um, crino line or horse head where's or what you know is now I'll be coming out about that is my fold allowance so I'll be moving away like two inches three inches four inches depends on what you want to do away from my turn up allowance now i'm going to be sewing it be careful because you can see the way i placed it remember that it's going to be going inside yeah i'm trying to correct it here because by at the end of the sewing um it's supposed to be reflecting inside that's at the back not the front so you have to be careful where placing your fabric so i will end up um, having it at the front instead of the back so that is it so i'm placing the horse like this and i'm going to be sewing it together half of an inch now this is where i've placed the horse so now we're going to be picking the fabric the the sewing seam area you can see look carefully you pick, look carefully what i'm about to do pick the um seam area you can see what i did pick the boat together with the horse and everything i'm going to be sewing very close there like 
quarter of an inch if not less than very close maybe even 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 depends on how close you can handle so this is the outcome this is the outcome remember that this one will be reflecting at the front so you have to use a very good matching thread so this is the outcome now i'm going to give it a very good press then i'll fold it like so then i'll also sew it on it also you have to use a very good matching thread because it's going to be reflecting at the front yeah okay guys this is the final look of the dress hope you liked it bye